Let's talk about how to influence specific countries on TikTok and get your audience seen in specific countries without having to spend hours trying to change the algorithm. This works instantly, so keep watching. I'm a business and marketing coach who travels full time as a digital nomad. So I have to be able to find ways to reach audiences in the UK, the US, Australia and Europe. I found the perfect solution and I'm going to show you how in this video. The first thing that you need to know about influencing specific countries on TikTok is this. You need to get hold of a SIM card from the specific country that you're trying to target. This works instantly. As soon as you put the SIM card in your phone, you will notice that your content will start getting pushed out to people in that country. And when you're scrolling the For You page, you'll also see people's content from that specific country. So for example, if you're trying to target the US, you'll need a US phone number in your phone. It might sound like a hassle to get a SIM card from a specific country, especially if you don't live there or maybe you're not even from there. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and how that is possible later on in this video. And just a quick note, VPNs do not work. I have tried multiple different VPNs and they don't tend to work on TikTok no matter how hard you try. The other thing that doesn't work is in the TikTok settings, there is an option to change your region. That doesn't seem to make any difference either. So the SIM card option seems to be the only way right now to influence specific countries on TikTok. Now, before I tell you how you can easily get your hands on a SIM card from a specific country such as the US, so that you can reach the right people on TikTok. If you wanna learn more about creating a full-time income online by monetizing your skills and your knowledge, then you're gonna to wanna to head to the link in my description because I have a free masterclass that's gonna teach you exactly how you can turn your skills and knowledge into a profitable online course so you can teach your audience what you know and you can scale your income whilst you travel. This masterclass will walk you through how to choose a profitable and in-demand course topic, as well as launch it to your audience and then make sales on autopilot. Again, make sure you go to the link in my description to grab this for free. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to how you're gonna get a SIM card to target specific audiences on TikTok. There's a couple of options I'm gonna run through. The first one is not my favorite, but it still works. So the first option is to keep your physical SIM card from your home country, if that's the country that you're targeting, keep that SIM in your phone. And whenever you need to use data from the country you're traveling in, you're gonna to have to switch out the physical SIM card for the one that you wanna use. So for example, if you're living in Thailand, like I am right now, you'll have to take out your UK SIM, put in your Thai SIM when you're out and about and you need to use the data. And then when you wanna use TikTok, you're gonna put your UK SIM back into your phone and use TikTok as you usually would. Make sure data roaming is turned off when you put your home SIM back in your phone because you could rack up a huge bill. I've done that before. Like I said, this way is not my favorite because it requires a lot of effort having to switch the SIM card every time. So I'm gonna give you a much better option. The next option is to get an eSIM for your phone. eSIMs are basically like digital SIM cards that you download straight to your phone. No physical card is needed. I did a whole video on what eSIMs are. So if you wanna know more about that, you can take a look at that video right here. And if you do wanna grab an eSIM, I use Olifly and I have a 5% off code which you can grab in the description. So there are a couple of ways you can use an eSIM. So what I personally do is I keep my UK physical SIM card in my phone. I'm mostly targeting the UK and I have a Thai eSIM that I switch on when I'm out and about and I need to use data when I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Whenever I need to use TikTok, I switch off that eSIM and you can do that in the settings. You can switch it on and off whenever you want to. So I switch the Thai eSIM off when I'm using TikTok so that I'm not reaching Thai audiences. And then I just switch it back on again when I'm out. The next option is to get an eSIM with a phone number of the country that you're targeting. So for example, you can get an eSIM with a US phone number and target the US. Or you can get an eSIM with an Australian phone number and target Australia. You could see if these particular SIMs allow data roaming so that you can use the data of the country that you're in. If they don't offer data roaming, you can get a second eSIM that works in the country that you're going to. So again, another example, you get an eSIM with an Australian number, so you're targeting Australia. You also get a Thai eSIM, and then you can switch on the ones you need depending on what the use is. Now, at this point in the video, you might be wondering what eSIM to use or how exactly eSIMs work, because it does sound a little bit confusing. That's why your next step is to watch this video explaining exactly how eSIMs work and my favorite eSIM company, which is Olafly.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.